This has to be one of the worst mornings I've ever had. I didn't go to bed until like, what time is it? Oh, oh my God, it's almost 11, I gotta be at work at 12. But uh, I didn't go to bed till almost like 7.30 in the morning because I just couldn't sleep. I was editing until like 3 a.m. Tried to go to bed, I just kept tossing and turning, could not sleep. But I have a shoot to do this morning for Hall of Honor. And I don't usually vlog my work day, but I'm just gonna try it today just cause, why not? I would like to say right now that whoever the made the Joby, well I know Joby made it, but if whoever the, whoever made the Joby mini like tripod needs to be fired, cause this thing sucks. So right now I'm looking on Amazon, I'm gonna be buying like, a small like desktop tripod. I mean it's kind of thick, but it's definitely gonna do a lot better job than whatever this is. And that way I can get a better angle than just kind of laying the camera back like, I wish you could see, I'm not gonna take a picture of it, I wish you could see how I have it set up right now. It's not it, not the move. I don't know why I could not just sleep this morning. It was like literally the worst struggle in the morning. My dad and my mom both got up before work before I even went to bed. It, it, it's horrible. So I would have woken up like an hour or less earlier, the tripod could have came in today. But no, I couldn't wake up. I don't know what settings I'm shooting. I'm supposed to be shooting 4K, but this looks good now. Maybe it's 4K, maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm calling my email with my address, but I bought it. I was thinking about buying the PGY Tech Mantis Pod, but I was like, what are the realistic like times I'm actually gonna be like mounting it on a wall like like this? Like, realistically, what am I gonna be doing that? So I just didn't buy that. It, it's dope. I might buy it in the future just to like get different shots for stuff. But for right now, that that's not a necessity. I do not need that and. I just don't need to be wasting more money. That that thing costs like 70 bucks. The one I bought was like 60, which is only $10, but it's, I don't need it. <coughs> Pause. Ugh. It would not like go too far. <sighs> Pause. So I'm looking, there's actually cheaper versions of the tripod, or well, yeah, I guess it is a tripod. But they're all like brands I've never heard of, and I trust newer for the most part. So I was like, ah, I'll spend the $56. There's another one called Joel, Joel Can, and that one's $39, but I mean, we up right. I don't know, but there is this other one that's by some other brand I've never heard of, but it's $129 because it's carbon fiber. And I like light stuff, but $130 for a tripod that's 17 inches? Trip. I'm already riding behind though, let's get it. Seems like a skip breakfast kind of day because um, I don't have time to get breakfast. And it's already 11 o'clock, which I forgot to put my contacts in. I keep looking at the screen, but if you don't know me by the way, like, I don't ever vlog this early in the morning. I don't even vlog when I wake up. This is something new for me. I have never ever in my whole vlogging career on my other channel, I've never woken up this early for a vlog or started vlogging this early in my morning. So it's actually giving me kind of energy. Like it's, it's different. It's weird. I like it. So the creator of this tripod really thought he did something. Look, I'm barely moving this. Like I'm putting a finger's worth of pressure against it and it just moves. This thing sucks. I don't know why they would create something so cheap in this rubber shit on the ends. Like, I don't know if you knew, knew this, but literally if I barely pull, like I barely just, I just dropped the weight of my arms. Pops off. Never buy one of these. These these are literally the worst investment you can make. Like they're good when you first get them because they're so stiff, but after like a couple uses, bro, I don't even think you can tighten it anymore. And it's just literally so trash. Don't 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 buy that ever. Oh, I did buy the two to five stop signature edition Peter McKinnon filter. It's kind of fire, I think. I haven't used it yet. I've had it for over a week. I haven't even used it. I have no reason to use it yet. But you know what? I bought it because you know why? I wanted it. And cause you know why? When I need it, I'm gonna have it. I have such bad gas, bro. I don't, and I don't mean like, like, like I just mean like gear acquiring syndrome or something like that. I, I saw a video on it and <laughs> I got that. I, I know I do cause I'd be buying gear that I probably don't need, but guess what? When I have it, I use it. So one thing I don't really favor about shoots like these is the fact that we had to like bring C stands all the way to the football stadium. And I just, it's just not the most fun thing to do. Or not just the C-stand, it's just all the equipment in general. Traveling, not traveling with equipment, but like, having to move a bunch of heavy equipment to like one location for like a one hour shoot is the most not fun task. <laughs> but I don't know, what I just do at the end of the day is I just, you know, grab my trusty hat, put the hat on, um, little drawn media mock-up mock hat. Never actually released these, and I don't know if I ever will. Just a mock-up design. I don't even know if it'll be my logo. Kinda fuck with it though. I need to get going, it's already 11 o'clock and 
We gotta pick up the gear to help Kyle pick up the gear, and we gotta take it to the football stadium because, again, that's where we conduct the interviews for this Hall of Honor stuff. So I don't know. It's cool. I mean, I guess one cool thing about it is that I got to meet Case Keenum. Never really knew much about him other than he was a UH alum, and I didn't know that until I got here. And he's also the quarterback for the Texans, or was. I don't know. I don't really know much about football. So, yeah. I lied. I decided to eat breakfast. Um, I got like 15 minutes to leave, though. <laughs> Actually, I should be leaving right now to get there by 11:45. But I decided to eat breakfast. The reason I decided to eat is because I'm probably gonna come right back home after I finish up the shoot because I have some client work I need to revise. Even if I don't, I need to rest because I did not go to bed last night. I just, I just couldn't, bro. I just couldn't. Oh uh, yeah, please ignore that loud <laughs> sound. I had an actuator go out. My Okay, I had an actuator go out in my car, and I we had fixed it, we replaced it and everything, and then, you know, lo and behold, it goes out again, the same exact one that we fixed. I don't know if you ever lived in Houston, but, dude, it gets hot during the summer. Right now, it's like 100, and it's 91 degrees, it's not 100. It's 91, but it's 11 in the morning. It's ridiculous. Let's put a, let's put a little tunes on before we go. What are we feeling today? We're gonna play my homie, hold on. He has this one song called Good Little Thoughts. It's a banger. Hopefully he don't copyright me for that. If he does, sorry, I'm suing. I'm not even monetized on this channel, so it doesn't matter. Basically, the point of today's video is to, I guess, to kind of show you like a BTS of like an interview. If you're gonna, you're gonna notice it's not like the traditional style interview. It's not gonna be set up with a three-point lighting. It's gonna have like a lot of natural light hitting the subject, and then we're gonna have like a fill light, and I think a key light is what it's called. And I probably have food in my teeth. I can feel it. It's, I have like a, a retainer, a permanent retainer, and it's bothering me. But. We're fine, fuck it, we bought. Yeah, so that's just kind of the point. I'm gonna just kind of vlog the day, show y'all behind the scenes of the shoot, how we set up and stuff, so. Yeah, it might just be a time lapse, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm gonna head to school now because I'm gonna be late. We had a change of plans. Uh, the original location had like an event going on. So we had to change the venue, which is like the most inconvenient thing, but we, you know, we had to figure it out last second. And uh, yeah, now we're at a different location. We're at baseball, so we're gonna set the interview here and get that done. Homemade production. I forgot. I'm not you. You said India. Change the media production. What is it now? Visuals? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not visuals. I'm living off of three hours of sleep. But I'll fit you. If I change quicker than a million miles an hour, I felt bad for whatever I said. But whatever's dead, I hope I see you never again. I'm actually getting gas right now. I'm uh, I just love to shoot, so it went a little longer than we thought it was gonna go, uh, but it's fine because it's Michael Bourne. He's a ex Astros player and he's a UH alum, so let it slide. I didn't know he played for the Astros, and uh, I love the Astros. If y'all don't know that, the Astros are probably one of my favorite teams. So let's try to try put this on. Bro, the casing is so hard to take off. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my goodness, it made such a difference. It made such a difference. It made a big old difference. And it's only on the lowest setting. Gotta love ND filters, bro. ND filters are clutch. I mean, it's not gonna help that I can't hold the camera up, but let me go get my gas pump out. Gotta love when that thing just kicks back on, bro. Y'all got to experience a kick on it itself. Bro, it's so hot outside, bro. I'm sweating. I literally was in the car for like 30 seconds. All right, we'll sit here. We'll wait. All right, bro, I guess this is just not gonna stop. All right, so I just stopped, but yeah. Uh, basically, I just love to shoot. I'm heading home now. I got some client work to edit, so I gotta do that. I gotta forward some footage. I got a lot of stuff to do. It's just gonna be a long day in general. I still, I wanna sleep. I, I might take a quick little like 30 minute nap because I'm just physically, mentally exhausted. I guess it's time to go. Uh, there's just too many people around this gas station. Man. People, people looking at me as a drive by. Big truck coming too. All right, I'm going. Let's go. I gotta go edit. All right, it's, it's time to go. Let me put a hat on because this is this hair is not it. So basically, I kind of lied. I said I was gonna come home and do work, 
and I did the opposite of that. I guess getting what like two hours of sleep, if that was like not enough for me throughout the day. So when I got home, I had edited a clip and then I had to edit a clip for a client. So I guess I did do some client work. But once I did that, I went ahead and like exported it because it took like an hour and a half because noise reduction on DaVinci is killer on the computer. So it took way longer. It took like an hour and a half for a 30 minute video. So I did that. Once I did that, I laid down like I'm just going to rest while it's exporting. I ended up taking like a four hour nap. And so, yeah, I, I'm so beyond tired and I have energy right now. It's like a, a midnight right now. So I'm about to stream. So, yeah, streaming at midnight <laughs> probably is not the best idea to do because I'm still seeing my girlfriend at like 10 in the morning. But it's okay. We're going to we're gonna survive. I have energy now because I slept. Also, I did have a package come in. Let me, uh, let me get that. So before Prime Day, I was looking for like a new way to charge my batteries because when I got this new camera, I had an extra battery. So now I have like a total of four batteries. And I only have one charger and one of my batteries are USB-C. So in reality, if I'm gonna be like on an everyday shoot or you know whatever, I'm gonna need at least two batteries like at once if I'm using both both cameras. If they die, then I only have one that I can charge USB-C if I have an available USB-C. And then I also have to only one charger, which is a big clunky charger to carry around. And then on top of that, I also have monitor batteries, which are these big batteries right here that I can't just charge, you know, on the monitor because there's no way to charge them. So I, have the, I bought this four bay charger for four monitor batteries, which I'm gonna use two of these in like, four to six hours so if i have a shoot longer than that i'm gonna need to bring three batteries and you know whatever okay that beyond the point basically my goal was to find a charger that i can charge at least multiple camera batteries on i had found this one charger by newer it was on amazon it was like i think it's originally like 80 bucks or something like that but it was on sale for like 69 and then prime day hit and it was on sale for like 53 so i'm like it, i'm gonna cop it comes in this like cool little hard case um but it's a lot bigger than i thought it was gonna be it's basically almost the size of the power extra charger I have for the monitor batteries. But if you think about it, if I'm traveling, this is all I have to carry because, let me show you actually, I'm gonna show you why. That's an important thing you need to know because when you open it up, it's, when I said modular, I literally mean modular. When I pull this out, this is just the monitor battery bay. Like I can plug two monitor batteries in at one time, which if I'm gonna shoot an all day shoot pretty much, I might need three batteries max usually. So I can literally charge two at once, crazy. Then you're like, how is it modular? Well, if you take this little, you know, this little slider thing and push this down, it opens a new bay. And then I don't use Canon anymore, uh, like for my Canon 80D, but if I did, I can charge two Canon batteries right here by just grabbing this and clicking it under there. Charge one on top, one on the bottom. Not the most convenient thing, because it's supposed to be better like if it's laying flat, but Canon batteries are stupid. So yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. Then we come over to the Sony one. I'm so excited about this, bro. I already used it, actually. I just boxed it back up just so I can show y'all. But anyways, I got this. So it just clicks right there. I can charge two camera batteries at once. And in reality, I have four batteries, right? So I could have one in this camera, maybe one in that camera if I needed to. And I could have two on the charger. And let's say I need to charge three at one time because I'll probably be still using one at the end of the day. I could charge two of the regular batteries at once, which would be these two. And then I can just charge my battery that's in this camera, which is the USB-C one from, uh, I don't know what brand, I think it's, it might be newer too. I can charge these all at once in one bay. Look how skinny that is, bro. This is the length of the power extra charger probably about. It's also like not the width of it. So this is, this is, this is money, bro. I love this. I, I only had it for like a couple hours, but I love it. And it charges relatively fast too. It has like a 45 watt output, which is more than enough for like two batteries, monitor batteries and two camera batteries. So I think this is going to be definitely a do like, I think this definitely is going to be a new like travel carry with like for monitor batteries and stuff. Probably won't use it here at the house unless I need to charge multiple batteries. But even then I don't usually need to charge more than two batteries at once if I'm at home. Why is my computer tripping out, bro? I'm about to stream and it's just tripping. But uh, yeah, basically, I'll just have this for traveling. Uh, if I travel this year with sports, hopefully I do. If not, then I'll still have it for when I travel on my own because I need to bring one charger, an all-in-one charger, instead of bringing freaking a battery charger for the uh, monitors, the camera battery charger, and individual, like, Duracell battery chargers or not individual it's the same it's like it's like that big it's for uh regular batteries because my mic has like regular batteries I usually have like usually like six to eight batteries gets me through the whole weekend if I'm traveling on a weekend so I don't really have to worry about that but yeah oh my god I'm so excited about the charger I never thought I'd be excited about a charger and then the monopod or not monopod the tripod should be coming in tomorrow uh, I actually figured out a way it's so ghetto like uh, I don't have my phone I'll take a picture to show y'all but it's so ghetto. I have like the legs like twisted up kind of like an octopus and it's like sitting there pointing at me and I'm surprised it's actually holding the camera up so whatever I said earlier about the Jolby guy I'm sorry 
it's still but it's good enough for now but yeah now i'm about to stream and if y'all don't follow me on uh twitch go ahead and follow me on twitch it's probably linked in the bio i don't know if not go to my main channel find me there it's daddy duran on twitch but yeah so i'm gonna get to that i really don't have a way to end these videos yet um i guess we're just gonna end it by putting the indie filter back on oh, the camera the camera fell uh yeah see this is why i said it's ass yeah.